All right. Uh, hi, I am Mocha Jones 10. I am going to be running for you Pokemon Scarlet Path of Legends. Uh, it's one of the three main uh, story paths in Pokemon Scarlet. And this is probably my favorite one to run. So that's what, that's what I'm going to be running. Uh, I will get started here. Am I good to get started? All right. All right. Thanks. So, so the timer's going to start on my first movement here. So I'm going to load the game. Because if, as you know, Pokemon Scarlet is probably like not the most stable Switch game, <laughs> so I'm trying to limit how long I have it running. Also, if it's raining, I'm probably going to just restart the run, like restart the restart it anyway, because rain lags super much. <laughs> but we shall see. All right. So we're going to start the timer in five, four, three, two, one, go. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go shopping because why not? We're going to buy all the items we need right here. Uh, 3x attacks, we'll use those at the very end of the run. And now we're going to fly to... Uh, East Mesagoza and then jump off the ledge because voiding out is faster than you know, taking the actual route that you need to go somewhere. What, what I like about this is that you go ahead, as soon as you find a Pokemon Center, you can fly to, or where you find the point, you can go ahead and fly there. So we're going to fly back to the Poco, uh, the Poco Lighthouse. And we are going to get more items. Um, not as much trick-or-treating right now as uh, we will do later. But we are going to be doing a whole lot of item grabbing. The first item that we are going to grab here is going to be our um, Grass Knot. Uh, we are using the Sprigatito in this run, which is the Grass Starter Pokemon. Um... Fun fact, I found that grass knot. <laughs> oh, please, backwards on jump. Yeah, I found that. And yeah, that, I'm the reason why we run Grass Cat now. Going to uh, do a let's go there to uh, bring my Sprigatito down half health. Uh, what I'm working on is getting my Sprigatito into Overgrow range. Overgrow allowing you to, uh, over, uh, boosting your grass stat, uh, your grass attacks, uh, when you're at a certain percentage, which, hey, we just have grass moves right now. And grass knot is a grass move, and we will be using that whole heck of a lot during the run. Don't hit that flittle. And now we're going to be evolving our Spigatito, getting it up to level 26 uh, to get it to be a Forgato. So we're going to be using this, uh, this large candy and this medium experience candy. And we're also going to teach Grass Knot at this point. And now we're going to find... Let's swap blue. Uh, Ghastly might work. Nope, Ghastly didn't work. Yay, Marathon Luck. So we're trying to do... Oh, there's the swap blue. We're trying to get uh, an overgrow range, so... Marathon Luck! <laughs> Uh, I defeat the Swamp Blue, which never happens. That's never happened before. Uh, 
So yeah, we're we're right now looking for a blue or another uh, ghastly. There we go. That should be overgrown range. That should be overgrown range. Don't don't quote me on that. We shall see here soon. The reason why we won't overgrow for this uh, Titan, which is what we're going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting all the Titan Pokemon. But the reason why we won't overgrow for this Titan is so that way we can avoid Angry Shell. Angry Shell is uh, the Claw's ability. <laughs> and of course, someone quotes me saying that should be overgrow range. <laughs> But yeah, over, er, uh, we're getting ready to fight Cloth. Cloth is the Rock Titan, the Sony Cliff Titan, so Arvin says. And uh, we are going to be, we're trying to avoid it going into Angry Shell. A Anger Shell uh, boosts and drops its attack and its defense, and, but we have an animation for each one of those. Picking up some rare candies along the way. So we'll pick up this one. Thought I missed it, and we're gonna pick up one over here, and then we're gonna, we're going to see if we are actually in overgrow range. Cause if we are not, uh, it's not gonna be fun. We're in for a bad time, so to say. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid every wild Pokemon that seems to just want to pop up in my way. That's one of the one of the fun things about uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, it was introduced in Pokemon Sword Shield as the Pokemon being in the wild. Another thing that you have is you don't have random trainer battles. So I could just go throughout the world and not worry about having to fight any other trainers. Because I can look them straight in the eye and say, Haha, you can't fight me unless I talk to you. Yeah, we're good. So the power of Grass Knight. Why, why is Grass Knight so powerful? Grass Knot deals damage based off of the uh, based off of the weight of the Pokemon it is used against. Majority of the Titans that you're gonna fight are pretty hefty. So if they're weak to grass moves and you use Grass Knot, yeah, that's a lot of damage that you're dealing to it. If we are going if we're not in overgrow range, Grass Knot will not uh, kill. Uh, since it appears that we are, it will kill this cloth. So let's see here. Arv is going to talk, make like he's doing something. He's not really going to do anything. It's just grass knot. Just grass knot. That's all it is. That's all we're going to be doing. Hey, we're in overgrow range. You can now quote me on that. Uh, so now some actual stories getting ready to take place. I'm going to quickly summarize this. Uh, so Arvin is on this quest to find all these Urban Mystica. Um, we don't know why. He just came up to us while we were in the cafeteria in the pregame part and say, hey, you're pretty strong. There's these Titan Pokemon that are hiding, that's got these Urban Mystica. We're going to go and take these Urban Mystica. So now we're, we're, we just beat Cloth, the uh, Stony Cliff Titan, and now we're getting the sweet Urban Mystica. Uh, you know, Urban Mystica is really long this time. I'm just going to say ATM from now on. 
So we get the sweet HM, and Arvin's going to be like, hey, you know what? You know what's really what's going to make this really good? If I turn this into a sandwich. Yeah, I'm going to turn this Urban Miska into a sandwich. And so, this is the story right now of someone who's making sandwiches. Making sandwiches. Making sandwiches. And so, you know, just, just like normal people do, we eat in the cave and out comes the Coridon. You know, the, the Pokemon that is on the cover of the game and that Arvin really dislikes and hates. So, yeah. Oh, hey, remember at the beginning of the game we gave Coridon a, a sandwich? We're going to give Coridon this sandwich. This HM sandwich. Arm is gonna be super mad. And be like, hey, that was sandwich for you, not for the Coridon. Coridon is not my favorite. I'm gonna give you some sandwich. And then magically, what? Coridon gets a power. Coridon now has a power to dash. And so, Arm is like, hmm. Coridon just got stronger. Okay, you know what? We're done here. Let's clean up. Let's go. But Arvin doesn't want me to help clean up. That's a little sus, you know. So we're we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and go. Grada, me and Grada is gonna go. And then we have Arvin saying, being really sus right now, saying, "Come on out. The coast is clear." What? Yes, ask a question. I am good for questions. So then I have Professor Sada, which is not a spoiler, it's uh, Arvin's mom. Because we found that out in the very beginning of the game. Turn around, backwards on jump. Backwards on jump. There we go. Ah. What we just did there was we, uh. We avoided the, uh, superhero landing by just, you know. Being sure to be, get off of our ride on, go down the cliff, and then we uh, get right back on them as soon as we are close to the ground. That avoids both the uh, superhero landing and also the uh, safe fall. And now we're it's time to trick or treat, you know. Everyone's favorite part of the run is trick-or-treating. Get all the candies. And on the... Okay. Did not make the ledge, but it's okay. So we're going to be going... And collect a whole bunch of rare candies, medium candies, large candies. Uh, the great thing about uh, this category is that you can use just one Pokemon. We're just going to use our starter for the entire run. No need to catch any Pokemon, because if we try to catch one, like if we try to catch this uh, Drip... Oh, come on, Drip Bloom! Also, I have polka dolls. Yes, ratio rock. So I have polka dolls for this section right here. To be fair, okay. To be fair, 
it when it came into me I have had a whole pack no I've had two packs of Pyroar sitting there on Ratio Rock before. And I'll get halfway up and then the other pack would start coming down. I'll rough it. Look like you just run for rough it. We are almost done with this six of the trick or treating. Now we're going to get another move. We're going to get Aura Sphere, which is a fighting type move. And you might be asking me, Moku, why are you using a fighting type move on a grass type Pokemon? Uh, well, Aura Sphere is also a special attacking move, uh, just like um, the Star to Show Grass Knight. Uh oh, the, uh, the Pokemon, the, uh, bleh. the Sprigatito that I have is a special attacking, it's a mix between special attack and a physical attack. And so, uh, what you will see is you'll see me doing a combination of special attack moves with the physical attack moves. We'll be seeing a whole lot more physical attack later on in the run. Uh, but to begin with, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of special attacking moves. Uh, I, right there, I grabbed a Rash Mint because it boosts special attack, and my nature is not. My nature was not one that is special attack nature. So, we're about to finish this section of Trick or Treating by getting a phone call that we will not act on just yet. Armin is saying, hey, there's a false dragon uh, titan somewhere around this area. Yeah, we don't care right now. We're going to just hit this checkpoint and fly away. And now we're actually going to head towards our second Titan, uh, which is the best Titan. The Titan I actually need to probably make an emote for. Uh, Y'all will see the bestest boy when we get there. The bestest Titan. Don't at me on that. This is the best Titan ever. The bestest and cutest. So, we're about to get another phone call from Arvin right here. Hey, Arvin, that phone call is really late. Say, hey, there's a lurking Titan, lurking still a Titan around. Uh, it's pretty fast. Can you catch it? See, Arvin's just useless, people. Arvin, like... Arvin sends us on this quest, and we do the line share of the work. Like, what's the point of Arvin even, you know? Making sandwiches. Arvin's purpose is to make sandwiches. So we got two more candies to get here. And then we will see the bestest Titan ever. And there's Oathworm! And now it's time for uh, the Sprigatina or the Florigato to get cavities because we're going to eat all these candies. It's time, it's time for us to get a Gasterada. Uh, Which is the best starter evolution in this in this gen? Don't at me. 
all you Crocolor fans, you're Crocolor fans. Teach Aura Spear. And now we're going to fight Oathworm, which is the cutest, bestest boy ever. <laughs> so for Oathworm, we're going to use Aura Spear because, hey, it's a steel type Pokemon. That's a fighting type move, um, plus special attack. We're just going to take it out. Like super quick. Ah, uh, Masquerade just stands there this time. It's all right. Sometimes Masquerade will run around you. Sometimes Masquerade will just sleep. It's it's fun. And now for phase two of Oathworm. Second verse, same as the first. Uh, we will be doing the Aura Spear, the special attacking fighting move. How how often do you get to say that you have a special attacking fighting move for real? Oh, Oathworm! I'm sorry I have to do this to you, buddy. So sorry I have to do this to you, buddy. And Oathworm is down. So we're going to get more story after this. Cause hey, we have our we have defeated our second Titan. And now we're going to get our second HM. Yeah. That's right, Arvid. Thumbs up. I'm doing all the work. You're just making sandwiches. And so this HM that we're about to get is the salty HM. And I'm just so salty that I'm doing all the work here. And Arm is just riding my coattails right now like what again what's he even doing other than making a sandwich so salty right now I got I do have to say my favorite post cooking quote comes from Arvin from, from this scene if you can if you can quickly see it after it comes up it will say, after you're done cooking, and Bob's your uncle. Which makes me guess that uh, Armin is from some kind of European descent. And Bob's your uncle. There it was. So now, just like normal people do, we eat sandwiches in a cave. And out again comes our Coridon. And Coridon's like, hey, I like that other sandwich you gave me. How about you give me this one too? And so uh, we give Coridon our sandwich. And Armin's gonna be like, I don't like you, but I made a sandwich for you too. It's only fair. But I still give the Coridon my sandwich. <laughs> And Arma's like, fine, whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can now do high jump. Crydon large bounce. Then Crydon say, hey, here's another sandwich. Can I get more powerful? Ar oh, oh, Arvin, sorry, dude. I didn't. Crydon didn't mean to. He didn't know. Uh, you got. You have a story for me now? Okay. Ox. Uh, Oh, so Arvin is doing all of this to to recover his bestest boy, his Mabostiv. Um, Mabostiv got injured while in Area Zero, 
and where did that sandwich come from? And so Armin is on this quest to make his his Mabasa feel better. To a Pokemon centers, potions, none of that's working. And so Arvin is read that hey, um, these urban miscas, they're gonna make any Pokemon feel better from the Scarlet Book. That's where he's reading that from. And so the boss is done eating, tries to get up, and opens his eyes. And Armin is like shocked, Pikachu shock face. You opened your eyes. I haven't seen those fiery orange eyes in ages. And so that that's his story. That's his story. Arvin's just trying to make his bestest boy feel better. So now we get a call from Armin's mom again, Professor Sada. Saying, hey, your karate is more powerful. Go keep doing what you're doing. So what what are we going to do? We're going to go back to uh, Zap, uh, Me Mechagaza. Why not? Mechagaza is where we started everything anyway. Time to go to the other side of the, of the Aldea. So we have a rare candy to pick up. Hello? Jump Karadon, thank you. And we're also going to pick up a Miracle C, which Miracle C boosts your grass type moves. Ooh. Also a uh, goal right there. We're going between the tree and the lamppost. So now we are heading to our third Titan. Uh, I am going to pick. I am going to pick up another mint in this area. I'm going to pick up an adamant and Starly. Starly, why are you so close to the ground? Okay. Olive right there. Saw you. Tall grass and small Pokemon. Um, name a better combination? Question mark? Anyway, we're heading to our third Titan, uh, which you will be able to see in the background here coming up in about two minutes. As we traverse Paldea some more. Hey, look, there's a trainer. I'm not going to care about him. He just saw me right past on my Coridon. I'm not going to care about him. I'm just going to keep going. I see you, Fuddle. No, that's right. No olive roll in this category. Because we don't do any gems. It is all Titans, baby. All Titans. Uh, I'll get the Super Potion for safety. And if you look up in the sky, you can see... Uh, you can see our next Titan just dropping boulders in uh, the phone calls. Arvin says, it's like, Hey! The Titan's dropping boulders! There's no way I can get up. Maybe you can. Again, we're, we're doing majority of the work. 
in this uh, mission for Arvin to uh, get his dog better. So remember that for later on in the run. We're doing a majority of the work here. So we get to our third Titan, Bombardier. It is a flying dark type Pokemon, so we're just, or yeah. So we're just gonna Aura Spear this as well. Aura Spear number one says Bombardier to get their HM, get more powerful, and you know, second first, same as the first. We're going to continue to just aura spray this thing. Arvin finally arrives after, you know, not being able to get up because of falling rocks, even though we got ass just fine. This is ah oh, missed the range, really. Come on, rock throw, thank you. Just barely missed the range there. Now we have more story. Yay! I feel like every time I've done that, Arvin has done thumbs up for more story. So we get another HM. Surprise, surprise. There's five of them total. Remember that. Five HM total. Five Urban Miscus. So this <clears throat> is the Sour Urban Mystica, and I am sour that I'm doing all he Okay, bitter, my bad. It's a bitter Urban Mystica. I'm bitter that I'm doing all the work, even though the Nicole did do a rock throw, which I'm surprised that Nicole did a rock throw here. I'm happy. But I'm, like, surprised, because Arvin's Pokemon usually don't do much. So here we have our bitter... We don't want to eat this sandwich, so yes, we're definitely going to give this sandwich to our Coridon, because Coridon will eat anything, apparently. So with Coridon now, Arvin's gonna be like, well, I guess it's time for the Mabosses to come out too. You already know, you already know that this is why I'm doing this. And yet again, where's this sandwich coming from? Pay attention, where's this sandwich coming from, people? We must know where did the sandwich come from? And where did the sandwich go? The sandwich is Cotton Eye Joe. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Alright, so now we have Mabosif The Wolf. Yes! Mabosif, not only eyes are open, but Mabosif is now... Bawoofing. <laughs> yes, the boss if it's getting better. Bawoof. No, my head cannon is that Arvin has a sandwich sheath, like you ha like you have hidden knight. 
hidden knife sheath in the in the back. He's a shelf, you know. Why not have a sandwich sheath? I should have jumped off there. Hello? Phone call from Arvin. Oh, Arvin's getting sick of the Quaking Earth Titan. Equip the Miracle Seed. Equip the Miracle Seed. Eat two rare candies. And learn. Knock off. Replace Aura Spear. So now we're heading. Ooh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pokemon can just come out of nowhere. So we are fighting a really old Dawn fan? A really old Dawn fan. No, this is a great tusk. It's from uh, Area Zero Crater? Somehow it got out? Who knows, you know? Also, Great Tusk is apparently a ninja. It used a uh, sand attack and became a ninja. Maybe you smoke screen, who knows? So Armin is no longer nauseous! Look at that! Armin is no longer nauseous and can come help us. Okay, this grass knot is also a range, so I hope I hit it. We shall see. Oh, come on. And, of course. Uh, see, see what I mean? Arvin, Arvin's not really doing much of anything. Arvin had the chance to take the kill, to do a, a, a razor leaf right here, take the kill, but no, Arvin is more concerned about getting his boss up there than taking out these titans, apparently. Doing scary face, really? Arvin, you should know better. This is why you're not a good trainer, question mark? Oh no. Anyway, story time. We are getting these. Now it's the sour urban misca. We've already gotten the bitter urban misca. Now we're getting the sour urban misca. And I'm very sour right now that Arvin used Scoville's scary face and not Scoville's razor leaf. Yeah, I'm I'm very sour right now. So wasting no time, Arvin's gonna make this sandwich. 
and then they're gonna and then after we eat the sandwich like normal people do in a cave um they're gonna have a deep philo philosophical discussion about uh about stuff about saying hey Maybe Crydon and the Mabasa, maybe they just have mental blocks. Maybe that's what's really happening. Maybe the sandwiches are just pretend and they just have mental blocks. Again, where does the sandwich come from? Where does the sandwich go? I never get tired of that. Never get tired of asking where does the sandwich come from? Where does the sandwich go? I call these sandwiches Cotton Nacho. <laughs> and Mabosif is a uh, very uh, rough with uh, Arvin right now. I mean, I would too if I didn't know where those sandwiches were coming from and going, you know? Alright. Professor Sonic is calling saying, hey, your Crydon is more powerful now. It can glide. And now, remember that flawed point we got like 20 minutes ago? We're going to fly right back there. Thus skipping it an entire phone call sequence that we had. Well, not skipping it. Hello? I don't think I got to fly. I think I'm too low already. Yep. So we are at our last Titan. Uh, this is a range also. And I believe that gets it. Yep. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to switch to adamant nature. Um, the main reason I'm doing this is because um, my special uh, my special defense is utter crap. <laughs> and two icy winds will take will take out my uh, masquerada. Where did that even come from? Where did that even come from? Like, I don't think I've ever hit a Dunzono right there before. I've never hit a Dunzono there before. This run is just saying, ha ha. <laughs> See a dragon or see the fish. Best line in this whole uh, quest chain. Even a dragon or is that just a fish? But now we're going to grass not this thing. Our last Titan, remember, this is this Dunzano is our last Titan. Oh, nice crit. Nice crit. Uh, don't paralyze, don't paralyze, don't paralyze, sit paralyze. Of course it paralyzed. Why would it not paralyze? YOLO. Uh, paralyzed. Dunzano, stop attacking me. 
Read it, actually hit something. Okay. I didn't use my uh my full heal or my full restore because I need that during the last fight, more than likely. <sighs> Alright, last fight and down, we did it. Time for more story. And time to get our last spicy okay. What's the sushi doing now? Surprise! The Tatsugiri is actually the Titan. So we're going to X attack and pray for no uh, icy wind. Okay. Good. Fire trick. Muddy water is on question mark. Muddy water is fine. We did. Greta is 0 for 4. Greta has not hit an attack. All right. So now that was our last Titan down. And now we're going to get our last HM. And make our last HM sandwich. Armin's saying, nice work. And Armin's, and I'm like, you didn't do anything, Armin. He didn't do anything but cook up HM sandwiches. Making sandwiches. Alright, so this is our last HM. This is spicy HM, and this run is getting about to get really spicy, actually. This run is about to get really spicy after this uh, sandwich made. So after the sandwich is made by Arvin, as always, he gives us a badge. We sit down and I came to eat sandwiches like normal people do. And of course, the Karidon and the and the Mabasif are going to come out. And of course, I'm going to give the Karadon my sandwich. Why, ha why not? Karadon's been like eating every sandwich I have. Why would I not give us a sandwich now, you know? And now it's time for my boss to come out, eat this sandwich that... I don't know. It's from somewhere. Now, this is a very serious and touching moment that we're going to watch the cutscene for, the cutscene's going to play for. Saying, I'm just saying, my boss, if you're my best friend, please get better. The cry I was like, oh, I want to get better too. I've been invested in getting you better for ages now. My character is like, I'm doing all the work here, but I want to get better too. And miraculously, as you can see in this cutscene that we're skipping, the Mabasif is magically getting better from eating all those sandwiches. That we don't know where they came from. Look at that, Mabasif's better! Yay! And just like that, we get a call from Professor Sada, which is Armin's mom. Remember, it's not a spoiler. It happens in the first 15 minutes of gameplay of the game. In fact, I even think it's in the trailer, too. Like, it's mentioned somewhere. Somewhere. 
So yeah, now we're wondering, Arvis wondering, why is Mom wanting me? Why does Mom want us to go to Area Zero? Why? She hasn't contacted me in ages. Urgh, I'm mad at my mom. And now we're heading to the final confrontation of the of this game of this run. And wonder where mom has been this entire time. So now we're going to go to the hardest flight point in the game, which is the, the Poco Path flight point, after we After we hit Arvin, after we get all the Arvimiscus. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Also, the hardest tech in the game holding left as soon as she lands at the fight point. Hardest tech in the game. And also, isn't it nice for Arvin to, to unlock his door and have us go in, even at the end of this run? Arvin's making us do all the work. How considerate is he? How considerate is Arvin for us to do all the work here? All right. So Professor Sada is asking Arvin, "Hey, I need you to get my Scarlet book." Oh, you mean this book I've had the entire time? Yes, that expedites things. Bring it to me in Area Zero. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. And that seriously, like. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And arm is all mad because that area zero is where my boss have got hurt. Also, hardest tech in the game. Second option here is quicker. <laughs> all right. And now, Armin's wanting to fight. Armin's mad. He wants to fight now. And so what are we going to do? We're going to have a Pokemon battle. That's what normal people do, right? Have Pokemon battles. Alright, if this battle goes south, I do have a backup save. Because I totally did not save it at all in this run, cause if I save, I lose this uh Nasturata, And I kind of like this one. So if things go south in this one, I'm going to switch to my backup save. Which is at the Arvin fight. So Greedon is our setup mon. We're going to do two X attacks and pray for no crits and no uh, paralyze. Oh, I have a backup save on another profile. One. Oh, we got the parallels. 
Not fun. Oh well. Okay. So I've run the flower trick just about the entire rest of the run. Which flower trick is so slow. You can't turn off animations and so it's so slow. The only Mon, we are not going to do a fire trick on. It's go villain, and we're going to just pet it. We're going to use knockoff on it. So we're just gonna do this for the rest of the run, except for our last, the last Pokemon, which is the Mavostiv. We have to Terrasilize on it. Alright, here comes that Mavostiff. Oh, Wolf! Intimidate! And that is GG! As soon as, uh... All the animations get done. Time is gonna actually come uh, whenever the card that says Path of Legends Complete is Gone. So we're going to watch the animations, see, uh, what the boss would go, boom, and fire trick. And that is GG, right there. Again, Tom is going to be whenever the, the end card goes away. And I will call that. Been a marathon luck there at the beginning, especially with all the uh, not- <laughs> Especially with the uh, uh, this one blue not cooperating with me, <laughs> I took out this one blue. That's only gonna happen in the marathon, not a PB attempt. <laughs> okay. And so, and time. All right, and that was Pokemon Scarlet Path of Legends. Uh, hopefully that was uh, entertaining for y'all. Um, I need to remind myself to make a uh, to make a sandwich emote and call it uh, Fat Night Joe. But you can you can find me uh, just about everywhere: uh, Twitter or X. Uh, Threads, Twitch, YouTube, at Mocha Jones 10. Uh, I will. I've been on hiatus for a little bit just because I've got the burnout, but now I'm ready to start uh, revving up again. So uh, hopefully, I'll go over there and follow me, follow my YouTube, follow my Twitch, and I will see y'all peeps later. Thanks for having me.